Here we go. Stand by, please. We're only on six. <laughs> on You're six. You're quite good. Yeah, here we go. Welcome to a new episode of the Celebrity Archaeology Podcast, sponsored in part by the Built on Dreams Media Network and contributions from listeners like you. I'm your host, Adam Skull. If this is the first time listening to the podcast, welcome. If you're a returning listener, thanks for coming back. Our goal is to preserve the cultural heritage of celebrity photography from decades past for the benefit of future generations. Pull up a comfortable chair, hang out with us, and have a great time reminiscing about your favorite stars. How much testosterone can fit in one photograph? Plenty. If the subjects are John Travolta and Sylvester Stallone in this photo taken in 1983 at the premiere of the film Staying Alive. Stallone as director and Travolta as returning character Tony Manero weren't enough to save the film, which was a sequel to the very successful Saturday Night Fever. But superstars John and Sylvester wouldn't let this dud do them in. John Travolta was born in Englewood, New Jersey on February 18, 1954. His father Samuel owned a tire repair shop and his mother was an actress and dancer. It was his mother Helen who saw that special something in John and encouraged him to attend drama school in New York City. At age 16, he dropped out of high school to pursue his dream. John's road to success was like many others in the business of acting. He did summer stock and TV commercials. He made his Broadway debut in Greece at age 18. This led to many small roles on television. In 1975, John went out on an audition for the television show Welcome Back, Cotter. He played the role of sweat hog Vinnie Barbarino. Barbarino was a cocky Italian-American the unofficial official leader and resident heartthrob of the Sweat Hogs. His good looks and personality jumped out of the small screen and John became a household name. In 1977, a well-toned John found himself on the big screen in what was supposed to be a small film called Saturday Night Fever. His acting and amazing dance routines were over the top. He left the TV character Vinnie Barbarino in the dust. His role helped define the disco era and defined him as a superstar and iconic dancer. It even led legendary dancer Fred Astaire to proclaim that John had it. After Saturday Night Fever, John had a few more hits with Grease, 1978, and Urban Cowboy in 1980. It wasn't until Quentin Tarantino resurrected his career after a lull with 1994's Pulp Fiction that John's career came back to stay. John said of Tarantino, There were people who were much hotter than me who wanted the role. But Quentin put his career on the line and refused to make the movie without me in it. Get Shorty and Be Cool quickly followed, and it escalated from there. John has been married to actress wife Kelly Preston since 1991. They are the parents of Ella Blue and Benjamin. Their son Jet died at age 16 after suffering a seizure. John's earlier love life included a relationship with taxi actress Mary Lou Henner. He had a great romance with the late actress Diana Hyland. He met her during the filming of The Boy in the Plastic Bubble, Back in 1976, a year later, they started dating. She was 18 years his senior. Highland was diagnosed with breast cancer. 22-year-old Travolta was with Diana in her final moments before she passed away at age 41. Her death tore him apart. There have been many rumors that John Travolta is gay, but he dismisses all of them. This is every... This is every celebrity's Achilles heel, he said. It's just about people wanting money. That's all. It happens on many levels. 
John is a member of the controversial Church of Scientology, along with actor Tom Cruise. He became affiliated with the group 41 years ago and credits it with helping him deal with Sun Jet's death. His biggest passion is flying. Flying is oxygen to Travolta. He earned his private pilot's license at age 22. John holds 11 jet-type ratings and is Qantas Airways' goodwill ambassador. His home in Ocala, Florida, is located in a fly-in community. He has a taxiway right to his door, where he parks his Boeing 707-138 so he can keep an eye on his planes from his living room. Sylvester Stallone was born July 6, 1946, in New York City. Before he established himself as one of Hollywood's biggest action stars, he was a struggling kid dealing with an unhappy home life with battling parents. While his looks worked as a boxer in Rocky, he once admitted in an interview, I'm not handsome in the classical sense. The eyes droop, the mouth is crooked, the teeth aren't straight, the voice sounds like a mafioso pallbearer but somehow it all works. Persistence was the word for the young Sylvester who moved to Philadelphia with his mother and stepfather. He attended a special high school for troubled youth after graduation. He got himself into college at the American College in Switzerland to study drama. Later, he attended the University of Miami. His odd jobs to put food on the table included cleaning lion's cages at Central Park Zoo and even an apprentice in an adult film. Things were starting to look better in 1974 when he married first wife Sasha and landed a role in the independent film The Lords of Flatbush with other unknowns such as Henry Winkler and Perry King. Sly wrote a screenplay on his kitchen table about a struggling boxer and tried to sell the script for years. The dangler was that he would get to star in it. Finally, in 1976, Rocky was released and earned 10 Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Rocky Balboa and later Vietnam vet character John Rambo would turn into a franchise operation for Sylvester. The action films had sequel after sequel, all successful. As late as 2015, Stallone was nominated for an Oscar for the revival of Rocky Balboa in Creed. Stallone's first marriage to Sasha ended in divorce. They had two children. Son Sage died in July of 2012. He was found dead in his L.A. home. Seth is their second son. Actress model Brigitte Nelson was married to Sly from 1985 to 1987. Both have said the marriage was a big mistake. Sylvester's current wife is model Jennifer Flavin. They have three strikingly beautiful daughters, Sophia, Sistine, and Scarlett, and were married in 1997. Thanks for joining me today on the Celebrity Archaeology Podcast, brought to you in part by the Built on Dreams Media Network. I hope you have found the content I've shared memorable and enjoyable. Be sure to visit CelebrityArchaeology.com to see many of our photos and pick up the link to access this and previous episodes of the show to get more stories of your favorite stars straight to your earbuds. Love this episode of the podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe so you're always up to date on the latest episode. Rate and leave a review and tell your friends about the podcast. Join us next time for the Celebrity Archaeology Podcast and learn about the lives of your favorite stars.